What are we making today, Anya? You're making buns. Buns, okay. Is Anya going to help us make buns? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how are you going to help us, Anya? Roll and roll. And roll? Yeah. Okay, let's get rolling. It's a beautiful rainy day here today and we are going to be making something that is warm, delicious and deep fried. Today we're going to be making mango buns served with spicy coconut chutney. This brings back so many memories for me because this is one of my childhood favorites. It is in a way a deep fried donut, yet it's called a bun because of the fluffy bread-like texture on the inside. This with a spicy coconut chutney is an absolute delight. Let's get started. To make our dough, I've got four cups of plain flour or all-purpose flour, six to seven bananas, a teaspoon of sugar, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of baking powder, a cup of beaten yogurt, four green chilies chopped and a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Now let's talk about the key ingredients that we've got here starting with the bananas. You want these to be as ripe as possible so it adds to the sweetness of the bun and it's also easy to mash them down. The next key ingredient is yogurt. Now yogurt does two things. One, it helps with the fermentation of the dough and two, it makes our bun soft and fluffy. Mango buns are sweetish and the sweetness comes from the ripe bananas. To balance that, I like to add green chilies. Now, you won't find this in a traditional mango bun recipe. I do this because when I bite into the mango bun, I can taste the notes of chili and I absolutely love it. But feel free to skip this if you like. First things first, we're going to peel these bananas. To this, I'm going to add in sugar, salt, cumin seeds. And now we're going to start mashing it. Now I'm going to add in baking powder green chili and the yogurt. Now get your hands in there and mix it. Now it's time to slowly add in the flour. I've also got about three tablespoons of oil. I'm going to add that in. Lightly coat it. Once that's coated, we're going to cover it and let it sit at room temperature for approximately six to seven hours. Our dough has been resting for approximately seven hours now and that's what it looks like. It's still nice and fluffy and we're going to start making those small balls now. There's a mommy banana, baby banana, there was a mommy tummy. Now it's so tiny, tiny, tiny. I've sprinkled some plain flour or all-purpose flour here so it doesn't stick to the bottom. We're going to start rolling now. You also want to make sure you're not rolling this too thin. That's about three to five millimeters thickness there. 
We're going to dust off excess plain flour and that is now ready to be deep fried. So I'm on frying duty today. I've got a pot full of oil on medium flame. The oil's nice and hot and ready for deep frying. And there we drop that in gently. Now you want to make sure your oil's not too hot. If you see fumes coming out of your oil, you know that your oil's too hot. I've got my oil on medium to low heat. And once the bun floats up onto the surface, you want to constantly pour some oil on top of the bun. And this is to make sure your bun fries evenly on both sides. We're going to give it another 10 seconds and flip this bad boy over. And one more flip, give it another 10 seconds, and we should be ready to go. Look at those buns, nice and puffed up. We're going to break open one of these to show what it looks like on the inside. There we have it. Our mangler buns are ready. Look at that, I can't wait to dig into one of those. Let's have a closer look at what this looks like on the inside. Look at how fluffy that is on the inside. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.